Hey guys, how's it going? It's your boy JB, and we are back, and we are live as well. How you doing? Um, JB here for the Fan Network. We're a fan of yours, and we're hoping that you'll be a fan of ours as well. So, um, I hope everything is cool with you guys. Um, tonight we're doing a little bit something a little bit different. Um, I'm going to be playing uh, through some postcom um, stuff uh, as I'm working my way up to the gold um, level. Um, and then also see it today I'm going to be taking you through my actual finished ultimate team for this year before we head into um, foot 21 so I hope you enjoy it if you like what you see here click on that subscribe button for me be very much appreciated otherwise I'll catch you guys a little bit later um, and we'll move on now to my ultimate team have a good one okay as I said at the start of the video there um, now I want to take a run through my ultimate team effectively and how it was built and how everything was put together um, and the reasons why I've chosen the players that I've chosen for my ultimate team. Um, so effectively we start off with Pope, um, who for me is, in my opinion, the best goalkeeper in the game. Um, I've effectively used him, as you can see, 281 games he's played for me and that's just this iteration of the card um, I had originally had the foot birthday version of the card um, and to be honest with you I loved it but I love this one slightly more um, and I think I had 300 odd games on the foot birthday version um, very easy to pick up this one I picked up through a squad battles um, objective uh, glad that it did it was a great upgrade to what I already had the thing I love about him probably the most um, isn't so much his diving um, or his handling it's his reflexes so he's very very quick off the mark and although his speed is slow his reactions and his reflexes to what's coming up um, and also you know, in part his positioning is the reason why he's so good in the most where I get the most use out of him is especially on one-on-ones is whenever he comes running out when we bring him to run out he's very very good at muffling the ball he's saved me at least 20 30 maybe 40 goals a season just solely for that reason um it does come for crosses and does save with his feet and saving with his feet is one of his best attributes but he he's very very much not afraid to um, kind of put his entire body on the line and um, so he's to me he's the best key, he's best keeper in this game without without a shadow of a doubt um, as far as you know I'm concerned at least anyway um, next up Juan Bissaka so this this is a hard one to choose um, because obviously my favorite um, would be Alexander Arnold and uh, just because I'm a great Liverpool fan but um, Alexander Arnold uh, great in pace great in crossing the ball um, but as we all know, not a, not a massively amazing defender. I mean, he's good as his, his team of the season, which is what I had, was very, very good. But actually, I think this card's better. Um, and if, the reason I think it's better is down to his defending and his physicals. His, his physicals are very good. Um, and obviously, you know, I've got them bumped up, strength bumped up a wee bit. Um, using the backbone chem style, but ultimately his defending is excellent. Um, you know, I've got him basically right up at 99s across the board. Um, he can dribble well enough, but his agility is very good, so he's very quick to turn. Um, and that's one thing that I really like about him, is that if, if he gets caught out of a position, he's very quick to turn, and he's got the pace to catch up. Um, his passing is very good as well. As you can see, his short passing is very, very good. Um, so I think he's probably my favourite. Um, no real traits to speak of, because he's, you know, it's CPU, but... I really like him. Um, he's played forty nine games for me so far. As I said to you previously, it was always Trent, but um, I really like him. Um, four star skill moves. Ultimately, doesn't really matter for me to be honest with you. Um, but you definitely can't use him on the left. Um, but then you couldn't really do that um, for Alexander Arnold either. So I'm not overly worried about it. And uh, next up comes Bailey. So Bailey came in. Um, so the way I had my setup, I did the. Um, what do you call it? Uh, Premier League full SBC to get Maguire's uh, team of the season card, and he played um, in this position. 
probably for about 100 200 games he was my default center back um, but then I started to play rivals and I began to realize that uh, he actually is not he wasn't very good now that's not to say that this Bailey card is, is any better but it's actually better than that team of the season card uh, just simply because he doesn't get lost um, and he has good pace as well on top of it now I still don't think he's my favorite um, I had one of VVD's cards and didn't get on with it at all um, I wasn't overly impressed by him in general this game but again you know, obviously I'm going to be in the minority in that case but I stuck an anchor on him because I wanted to increase his speed um, especially um, his sprint speed but also then that the give the, the anchor on it give me really good defending stats um, and really good um, strength and aggression so one of the key things I've learned over the last couple of weeks really last month or so is that physicals are very important in this game and he has the physical attributes he's just not an amazing tackler even though we've got her up at 99 for all of them still not great um but i think that that's down to the fact that he has very low agility um and also uh, he's got good composure but definitely could be better stamina hasn't really been an impactor for me he hasn't haven't needed to change him in any way um, but he does well, he sits in there and he does the job that he needs to do and that's really the backup to my next defender and that's how you choose so I think this this car got a lot of stick um, he has played 206 games in total, a bottom as you can see for 57k he's played 141 for me and I have to say he's one of the best defenders I've played with he fits exactly the, the team way that I play and everything he's just very very good on the ball um, very very good tackler very very good at breaking up play um, so I can't really complain about him to be honest with you again I've got an anchor on him to boost his pace and his defending um, but also his um, strength and aggression is up full um, and as you can see his defensive awareness is very good his tackling is very very good um, and he's also very good from a reactions and composure perspective so I really really rate this card I think this is one of my favorite cards I've played with all season without a doubt it's it's absolutely superb um, no traits for him um, but just a standard really good player um, four star weak foot as well which means you can play him on either side which is even better because VVD didn't have that initially so I had to play him on, on the left hand side so it meant so she could then work and the right hand side so and vice versa Bailey plays now on the right hand side he plays on the left hand side but they're just as good as each other okay so next up then is Robbo um Robbo was always making it into this team um I didn't really have a better left back um I'm trying to think who I was using really um and I it just it's gone actually who I was using because they or no I tell you who it was it was the Marcus Alonso card um the flashback card which was very good I played with Marcus Alonso's original gold card and it was crap um but Robertson's the best card in this game as far as I'm concerned from a left back perspective he's just brilliant um again no no issues skill moves and weak foot wise um he's played 174 games for me um, with um, six goals, 25 assists, as you would expect because of the way that he plays. Um, stuck an anchor on him uh, again, needed to boost his strength and aggression a little bit, um, but his pace and his defending now is immaculate, uh, and as you can see, his passing is very good as well. Um, so I absolutely love him. I would never have him out of my team. I, I worked really, really hard. I remember the slog and the grind over three weeks to get the money up to be able to pay for him. So I'm delighted that I got it. Um, he is an early crosser. I don't really use him in the way that Liverpool use him. He doesn't kind of float past unless there's a need because uh, my left mid does that. Um, but then we picked up this guy. Uh, so originally it's Salah in the right mid um, position and I'll go through the way I've got my team set up in a wee second originally it's Salah picked this guy up through SBC he played 65 games 33 goals 46 assists um, 4 star 4 star he is probably the best acquisitions I've made through the whole year um, just newly joined uh, Man City as well um, very very good uh, player super um, good really 
put a maestro on him to increase his shooting um, but also to mainly increase his passing to the highest level it could be he is very easily pushed off the ball um, strength rating of 84 really doesn't tell you the real truth um, but his agility his ability to move in a diagonal line and pick out really good passes um, is brilliant it's really really good his ball control is excellent he doesn't have that super hard touch like most of the team guys have and he's just actually all round better than Salah's 97 in my opinion having used them both for a really long period of time so really like him no traits but to be honest with you he's just so good he he doesn't really need any traits to be honest okay then comes this guy so um end on belly i did i believe it was an sbc for i can't remember i think it was sbc because i remember i think i remember gutting the club to be able to get him 314 games uh 22 goals 78 assists uh from cdm he is so one thing i would say about him is this he is absolutely amazing at breaking up play and tackling he is superb at it however he is a terrible passer of the ball and no matter what the attribute details show you which you'll see in a wee second is passing of the ball is crap um so you don't use him for long passes especially um he's got an anchor on him and um, because they wanted to boost his pace and his defensive uh, ability um as well as his physicals because i want his physicals up the full short pass and long pass you can see it 99 95 it's not right he can't pass the ball for anything um certainly can't pass it the straight lines so that's the only thing really for me that lets him down he does have the flare trait although it's ultimately only usable when he gets in the box and then when he does get in the box his finishing isn't good enough anyway so that's why as you know it's usually lower um as far as his goal tally is concerned but then you would expect that for cdm i've played with a lot of cdms in this game um including one of the ones in the subs bench that we'll talk about in a minute he's absolutely one of the best premier league ones that i've played with and that's why he's been in my team for 300 games because he's just like super super good so uh always makes it in no matter what happens um left mid okay it's pulisic um so i have a love affair with pulisic really um he is quite frankly the best left mid in the game from a premier league perspective um loved his one to watch card his one to one co one to one or sorry his one to watch card has made it into my team every sort of two to three months um i would get bored of them sell them on and then realize that the left mid the new left mid i got was crap and bring him back and i would just continually ping pong backwards and forwards and then this card came up and it was available and i thought you know what i'm doing it and we're having done with it uh 240 games 103 goals 161 assists um he is brilliant and as you'll see in the postcom gameplay that's coming up after this portion of the video you'll see why he's brilliant the speed is brilliant the crossing is brilliant he's just very very good all around um, and as we've seen kind of with chelsea at the minute he's doing even better with them so he's got top pace um, i put an artist on to boost his passing because uh, i wanted it to be absolutely bang on the money um, and also his ball control uh, is very very good as well um, he curved the ball like nobody else um, great crosser of the ball and his vision is super and uh, he can pick out anybody effectively so he can so he will always make it into my team and uh, likely will be one that will come in the next year as well and uh, just because of how well he's playing so it'd be no longer a one to watch so i'm hoping there's going to be a really good card for him okay del piero um so four star five star he's played 141 games scored 56 goals 67 assists um, i actually use him more now as a cdm um, than i do as a cam and i'll explain to you what that looks like within the formation in a wee second picked him up from one of those icon upgrade packs not the moments one just the icon one he was the first one i pulled out can't complain about him at all he's so good um stuck an engine on him to boost his pace and boost his passing um and his dribbling as well you see his defending's crap but because he has the vision because he has the agility and the reactions um he's able to cut passing lanes really well which kind of works but 
A stem at 85 is it's wrong. A stem is not 85, it's lower than that because I always have to take them off. It does have the finesse shot trait and the team player trait and uh, he's excellent at fin finesse shots. Absolutely brilliant. Um, so can't complain about him. He was the first one that came out. And to be honest with you, he'd be in my team until the end of the season. Um, second one that came out then was Stoichkov. Um, so I do use him primarily as a striker, even though he's shown as a cam here, but I'll explain that again later. Um, he's played 99 games. Um, he's delivered 153 goals and 86 assists. He's brilliant. He's brilliant. Um, put him anywhere and he can score. Um, no problems whatsoever. Um, I stuck a hunter on him because his um, pace and shooting uh, I see his pace is actually very good when you're playing with him in game his pace isn't that good so it's not so I stuck a hunter on him and um, that boosted his pace and uh, boosted his um, finishing um, across the board and he just bangs bangs him in left right and center no doubt about it very very good um, stamina is at 91 but to be honest the stamina doesn't last um, is the power free kick um, which I've never really used because Del Piero generally takes my free kicks but I maybe have a wee blast of the next time and see what happens so he definitely makes it into my team for sure um, and last but not least is Lacazette so this is a foot birthday Lacazette um, 4 star skill mouse 3 or 5 star weak foot um, 33 games 60 goals 27 assists uh, got him out of uh, one of those 80 was it 82 pack or maybe it was a 90 plus pack it was one of them anyway but the first time that I got this card was in draft and I used them in the draft and I've never scored goals like it I've never had a player score goals like it I've never had a card that kind of you could just feed the ball to and he would score no matter what would happen and I thought every time I saw it, I thought right if I'm going to be working towards the team at the end this is a striker that I want to have in place now the only thing about him um, is um, I stuck a marksman on him to up his shooting, up his dribbling, um, but also to up his strength and aggression a little bit um, because again it's very very good for strikers to have good strength and aggression. Um, but what I've noticed with him is his passing as you can see under the passing marker, short pass 88, long pass 75, he's not a good passer of the ball. Um, you really you really do need to kind of impact his past the statistics in order to make him a better player so likely the maximum I would change at some point in order to do that um, because what I like is a, a passing team I like to pass from the back up and play up um, and sometimes we've got strikers running off strikers and cams running off strikers so we need to be able to pass the ball well but god he can score a goal uh, he's absolutely superb Flair trait outside the foot trait with the uh, five star weak foot just makes him an absolute banger. So definitely the the best striker I've played with this year from a Premier League perspective. Um, certainly not the best overall that I've played with, but from Premier League perspective, he's definitely the best one. So that's the main team. But a few guys that have made it into my team recently um, is Thiago. Um, so I did him especially for the um the fact he was coming to liverpool um and it was before he was coming to liverpool whenever it came out i thought you know we're going to do it. i'm going to go from there he's played 42 games eight goals seven assists now to be fair to him he's been coming off the bench that whole time he's five star four star um i stuck a anchor on him because uh, originally i was using him as a cdm um but actually i found he's very good box to box, to box. um very good strength and aggression um, his defending is very good in general um, I think I probably change this to probably a maestro moving forward um, but his passing is great uh, his finishing is very good really good shot power um, and his composure is excellent uh, it's very very good and he kind of goes all game without any major issues so I really like this card um, but again he's very much a sub um, Promes, I think, is probably in the top five best cards I've played with all year. Speed. Um, his ability to get from A to B 
um, his ability to take the ball and dribble with the ball is dribbling is absolutely fantastic um um it's super duper and when he comes on at a five you can see there that ball control dribbling is excellent agility and balance is excellent uh, his vision short passing and his long passing is very very good um, and he's just fantastic coming in off the wing um, not necessarily down the wing sometimes he'll go th he'll go up the wing um, cut diagonally in um, towards the center of the box and Robertson will come running past and the phenomenal combo uh, he has the flare trait and he does have plenty of flare I can tell you that there's no doubt about it um, so I, I just love him but the problem is he's Dutch and he's from the Dutch league so he's really hard to fit into the team without using him as a sub uh, otherwise he'd be in my team full stop uh, Nabry again um, excellent 4 star 4 star um, he's played 53 games 19 goals 11 assists um, I use him for two reasons again cutting in from the right hand side and he's excellent because he has the speed to get past a lot of players but also as you'll see in the postcom stuff that I've done for the next part of the video He's excellent at coming in on the right hand side to receive a long ball across the box from Pulisic and bang at the top corner. Um, he's the best at it. I mean, Ferran Torres is very good at it, but he's better coming in and taking the shot from outside the box um, or passing the ball through. Love this card. Um, again, next year if I have a Bundesliga squad, it's he's going to be one of the ones that I'm going to be looking for. And last but not least, Machuidi. So I only did him recently. Um, and again, he's he's the same kind of player as, um, what do you call him, uh, End of Belly. Two assists against 36 games, playing him off the bench mostly. Um, he's very good. I uh, really rate him, really like him. Um, plenty of time to kind of say how amazing this player is. Um, he's very like End of Belly. Cuts off past the lanes very easily. The powerhouse, even on five, um, his long passing is excellent, the short passing is excellent, his vision is excellent. His defensive awareness is brilliant, the stand tackles are brilliant, um, and strength and aggression is right up there um, with the best. He's really good pace as well for CDM, which is brilliant in today's game. Okay, some honourable mentions, because there are some cards that were missing from this team, but have been absolutely phenomenal for me this year um we mads um again he he's in my top three best cards i've played with all season and um, i got rid of him in the end because he just wasn't cutting it any longer he, he kind of fallen behind with the the power curve a little bit in the game four star four star he play i'd say he played the guts of at least 400 games without a doubt um He's got a basic cam style on him there in regards to this, but what he was excellent at was creativity from that camera. Um, so kind of where you'll see I have Del Piero in the in the setup, that's where Madison used to play, and the amount of goals that he used to get from that position was unbelievable. His goals ratio was absolutely superb. Um, so he was brilliant for me, and I loved this card. Um, I was glad I did it again. It was another one to clear the club out for one of the best acquisitions I ever made and um, so delighted to have him this year Aspi and um, this is centre back version but it was actually the right back version that I was using um, he is in their top three so in my opinion uh, Wan Bissaka him and um, Trent Alexander Arnold's the best three cent their best three right backs uh, he did bits for me for a long time um, he was a very big card in my team for a very long time. Um, pace not great, to be honest. You had to put a, a shadow or a, a or should I say it, an anchor on him to boost his pace. Uh, his defending is excellent. Uh, really, really good. Um, very good from an interceptions perspective, but also really good from a passing perspective. You see there is short passing, long passing is very good. Um, his vision was good and um, strength and aggression was very good as well so he, I, I really liked him he was good and um, but it was i think i moved on joao Cancelo's sweet birthday card and used it for a very long time and um, but it just wasn't as good as this normal one um but again not as good as wan Bissaka or the trent alexander arnold one so uh, he had to kind of go very solid player 
um definitely a team player um one of the best um right backs in the game as far as i'm concerned and lastly we picked up the end of an era um card for david silva who again as you'll see in the squad was where stoichkov would have been um four star three star um absolutely brilliant he was can't say anything more about him um his speed was good his passing and dribbling was immense he could pick out a pass like nobody's business but as you can see with the strength and aggression got kicked off the ball pretty much non-stop um so you had to be a really good dribbler with him but god the amount of goals that he assisted for me uh it's absolutely unbelievable um one of the greatest cards i've played with in the game again he's in the top five without a, without a without a doubt his finesse shot was absolutely on point okay so in this team um the way it's set up as you can see it's a four at the back uh, it's a four five one essentially um but that's not how it actually plays out um let's see if i can go to um show you my formation so oh no i can't go on the custom tactics let me go down to my normal team um, and I'll show you the way that I have it set up. So if I go to a new formation, so it's basically the same thing set up again, except I've just got Werner the burner up front. And um, so this is the way I start the game, but I go into defensive whenever I don't, um, or whenever I play the game. So let me show you my custom tactics to explain how that works. So from a formational perspective, I go to the defending, I go to 4 2 2. And you'll see it set up here. I've got Robertson, Soyuncu, Bailey, and Juan Bissaka. I've then end of Bailey and Del Piero. Then I've got Ferran Torres, Pulisic, and Werner and Stoichkov up front. I made this change. I think probably, I'm, I'm going to say three weeks ago. And I was watching a video from the Pintas, and he was talking about using it in weekend league, um, and how freeing it was, and how good it was from a um, capture and passing lanes and stuff like that so I thought well we'll give it a go because I, I was kind of struggling with the 4-5-1 in Rivals and that's what kind of put me off it a little bit um, and to be honest with you um, ever since I've changed this my game's just gotten 100 times better um, having two up front has definitely worked um, without a doubt and the instructions that I've got set on them uh, Stoichkov is playing in a false nine um, so Stoichkov's just coming in behind Werner effectively and playing more alongside Pulisic and Ferran Torres and the best change uh, I think I've ever made to be honest with you um, so everything's you know been very good I'm on pressure on heavy touch width is high depth is slightly low but I'm not playing one depth because you know he does I've left defensive style is balanced um, width though um, is narrow uh, and that's very deliberate um, player in the box four um, so one thing one thing I learned from a lot of the videos that I've been watching is if your player in the box is more than four it means your CDMs move upwards to be a part of the attack and because of the way that I play I want my CDMs to remain where they are so if I put that any if I put this up to five then the CDMs will move keeping it at four means the CDMs will stay where they are effectively um, and I've got two in corners and two in free kicks. The reason I've got that is because I like to have players outside of the box because I know I'm not going to score from a corner most likely but I'll go out to my player and I'll have a better opportunity of passing it through into the box to score. Um, so that's why I do it and that's why I have it in place. So um, that's effectively you know what I've been using this year. You'll see the only kind of major change I've made is to move Stoichkov from, from striker to cam to fit the kind of setup. Now the good thing about that being, of course, as you can see, I've got two icons here. I can put anybody here. It doesn't matter who. Um, you can see that I've got loads of other players here, including the team of the team of the year, Cristiano Ronaldo. I can put him in here, and I'd be on full cam. There's no issue. Um, so effectively, no matter who it is, there's Lewandowski. Again, I can stick him in, and he's on full cam. So um, I think that that is a really good breakdown effectively of what my team is and how my team works and um, so i hope you enjoyed it we're now going to move on to some postcom gameplay and um, from today's squad battles matches uh, as we head up to gold one 
um, so we'll see you all in a mo. And we are back. Um, so postcom gameplay basically for um, two or three squad battles matches we're playing today. Um, as you can see, combat up against Henri and um, Maradona up front in this particular team. Um, well, it didn't really do too badly. This is where kind of team Werner comes into his own really. And um, we did go one down due to a stupid mistake from Popey McPoperson, but. Uh, very good goal taken there, but to be honest, um, very easy for us to kind of, you know, make it work and make it happen. Um, but this is where Pulisic, you know, and and Ronaldo come in and play there. Pulisic is very, very potent down the side of the wing there, to be honest with you. Um, so he's very good. You'll see it again here, like Werner the burner, top corner. Pulisic has been probably my rock for most of this year to be honest with you. Werner I'm, I'm really just a great goal again just testing out um, for the minute because I am trying to do the German kind of striker stuff for rivals so that was a great shout and um, took us up a good whack towards gold one Um we move on to the next game. We've got a cracker one coming up after this one, but this is fairly straightforward. This one, um, nothing major to kind of call out on it, apart from again Werner doing bits. Um, here comes Pulisic again, great ball in. Stoichkov managed to get that one, hit the bar, and then into Werner. So uh, Werner's done really well, as you'll have seen from the previous video around me looking at my club. Even though I've just brought him into my club, his uh, what a goal from Stoichkov. Uh, his actual um, return has been phenomenal, even though it's rare that he comes up on the pitch. He's just there at the right time, in the right place. It's Lewandowski with a quick one across again to Werner. Um, Lewandowski I'm not massively into, I have to say. He's not my favourite out of all the 99s that exist. But there's Werner uh, popping up with his hat-trick and a 4-0 win there. Um, not too bad. This next one's a... Uh, seven goal thriller uh, really and um, Nathan Aki actually doing bits so he wasn't very good for me whenever I played with him in my team like but and um, we kind of go down one very early on and um, the reason for that is because spending so much time trying to close off some of the week four objectives and um, that I wasn't really paying attention to what was going on um, so in this one in particular I need to get two finesse goals. Um, I got the first one with Werner there. Um, Stoichkov getting in. He's so good with a hunter on him because of the speed. And there you go again. Werner. Um, I don't think that was the finesse goal though. I don't think that was the second. I think it was probably uh, the next goal coming up most likely. Again a really stupid goal to give away there. Um, the post seems to be doing a lot recently um, I don't know what's going on with the post but it seems to be loads of goals away I give away a stupid penalty uh, as, and as you know I'm crap at them so that's usually the way of it to be honest with you but it was at this point then where I just thought no I've got to go for this now because I'm 3-2 down Pulisic again picking out Werner Werner the burner coming up with another hat-trick so that's two in a row at this particular stage um, and then effectively then I just ran it out to Pulisic so if you watch up in the top corner Nabry it's just running in and that's one of the most potent strikes and goals that I've actually put through um, over this year it's one of my favorite moves so that took us to gold one as you can see um, it also helped us to move further forward and grab the wee ball and all of that good stuff And lastly, um, I'm actually um, clearing out the club at the minute. So obviously as we get ready for foot 21, um, I don't necessarily want to have anything kicking about. I want to finish off the game properly. Um, so I'm effectively just selling anything that's untrade or that's tradable uh, in order to get rid of it all. Um, the main reason for that is because I've got back into rivals again um, and I want to um, basically work my way through some of the milestone objectives and um, pick up a couple of players so I haven't done any of these because I wasn't playing the game really in that way this year um, but Serie A 
you just need to score goals. So I'm going to basically do this over the next couple of weeks whilst I'm waiting for the next one to come in. Um, as you can see, I've only won 11 matches. Uh, I'm not great. Yeah, I'll be the first to admit I'm not great um, as it stands. But the Politano card seems to be very good from what I understand. We did manage to get the Battle Master, which is always very, very cool. But anyway, with that being said, I want to thank you very much for hanging out with me today and going through my team. I hope you enjoyed the gameplay. If you like what you see here, click on that subscribe button for me. That would be really, really cool. And uh, hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. Otherwise, I am your boy JB, and I will see you all again very, very soon.